Hello to all incoming grade 11. This will be the continuation of our uh, evaluating functions. If you haven't watched our first video, I will put it in our cart. Just click the link. Watch that video first before watching this video. Okay, some of you, math wizards, are asking me to film evaluating functions that compose of fractions. Okay, let's solve the following problems. Given f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 g of x is equal to one half x plus one third h of x is equal to four x squared plus three x plus nine we're going to find f of four number two g of one fourth don't be afraid in fractions number three h of one half and number four F plus uh, F of three plus F of two, and number five, G of zero plus H of zero. Please make sure that you subscribe in our channel to be updated in our upcoming videos. If you haven't watched any video and if you find all the grade eleven topics, please proceed in our playlist. And for those Grade 8, this will be your lesson in your second quarter or third quarter. So, if you want to watch, please subscribe. Now, let us solve number 1. Number 1. Okay, number 1. F of 4. So, f of 4, our x is equal to 4. So, copy the function f of x. So, that is 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. That would be our first technique. Copy our expression. Then, after copying, substitute the value of x. In this case, x is 4. So, 5 times 4 squared minus 2 times 4 plus 1. Now, simplify. 5 times 4 squared, this is 16, minus 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1. 5 times 16, so that is 80. Minus 8 plus 1. 80 minus 8, that is 72, plus 1, gives us 72. Now, f of 4 is 73. If you want to write your answer in this form, f of 4 is equal to 73. If you want to try number 2, 3, and 4, and also number 5, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Let's check number 2. G of 1 fourth. So in our given, we have g of x. We're going to evaluate when x is equal to 1 fourth. Copy the expression. 1 half x plus 1 third. Now, change x to the given value, which is 1 fourth. Copy one half, then change to one fourth plus one third. Fraction, so one times one, numerator to numerator, over two times four, which is eight, plus one third. So eight and 
3. Let us find the LCD. So if you want to do the shortcut, let's multiply 8 times 3, 8, 16, 24, 24, then cross multiply 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 8 times 1, that is 8. 3 plus 8, which is 11, over 24. Please make sure that you write your final answer into lowest term. So that is G of 1 third. Okay. Are you ready with number 3? Number 3. Number 3 is h of one half so we have h of x just copy our expression which is 4x squared plus 3x plus 9 so 4 times x is one half so one half squared plus 3 times x is one half plus 9 4 times 1 square, that is 1, over 2 square, which is 4. Plus, our whole number has a denominator of 1. So, 3 times 1, that is 3, over, denominator is 1, so 1 times 2, we have 2, plus 9. Uh, plus 9, just copy 9. Now, 4 times 1 4, that is 1, plus 3 over 2 plus 9. So why 1? So we know that 4 has a denominator of 1. So 4 times 1, that is 4, over 1 times 4, that is 4. 4 divided by 4, that is 1. Okay? Now simplify 1 plus 9, this is 10 plus 3 over 2. So you can write your final answer in mixed number form 10, 3 over 2, or let's find the LCD. LCD is 2. 2 times uh, 2 divided by 1. A whole number has a denominator of 1, that is 2 times 10, which is 20 plus 3. And our final answer is 23 over 2. Why 23? Because 20 plus 3 is 23. So that is h of 1 half. Now, let us do number 4. f of 3 plus f of 2. So let us find first f of 3, after finding f3, find f2, and after finding f of 2, combine the result. That is number 4. So f of 3 plus f of 2. Okay. f of 3 is... 5 times 3 square minus 2 times, our x is 3, 3 plus 1, okay? 1 must be outside our parentheses. Plus, we're going to add L of 2. 5 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. Close. Bracket. Simplify. Again, let us repeat. Change x to 3. f of 2, change x to 2. So we have 5 times 3 squared. That is 3 times 3, which is 9. 
minus 2 times 3, 6 plus 1 plus 5 times 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 2, 4 plus 1. Make sure that you follow our PEMDAS rule. If you want to watch our PEMDAS, please proceed in our grade 7 playlist. We have a topic for PEMDAS in that playlist. 5 times 9, that is 45, minus 6 plus 1, plus 5 times 4, which is 20, minus 4 plus 1. Okay? 45 minus 1. 6, this is 39. This is 39. 1 plus 20, this is 21. Negative 4 plus 1, this is negative 3. Now we have 39 plus 21, this is 60. Minus 3, the final answer is 57. So f of 3 plus f of 2 is 57. That's it. And our last number, g of 0 plus h of 0. For number 5, g of 0 plus h of 0. I will write here. So g of 0, g of 0, so 1 half, our x is 0, plus 1 third, plus h of 0, 4 times 0 squared, just change all the x to 0, plus 3 times 0, plus 9. We know that any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So 1 half times 0 is 0 plus 1 third. 0 squared is 0 times 4 so plus 0 plus 3 times 0, 0 plus copy 9. So 1 third plus 9. Our LCD is 3, so we have 1 plus 3 times 9, 27, which give us 28 over 3. So the final answer is 28 over 3. So that is the evaluating functions. I hope this video will help you in your modules. Please subscribe in our channel for, our, for the next um, videos to come and to be updated please click the notification bell once again thank you for watching senior pablo